Okay, I have this humidifier that's been leaking, and recently I replaced the evaporator panel, the water panel, because that's the most likely issue. But that's not the case. Uh, it's leaking again after that replaced, and what it looks like the issue is, is the water supply line. So I'm going to replace that. First thing before you pull the cover off is we're going to want to make sure we shut everything off at the fuse box, at the thermostat and all that. Okay, so this is new and this is fine. And the issue is this line right there, it break, it broke. We can see, so when the water supply comes in, it just dumps out of here and then drips out the bottom. Uh, and ideally, it'll all be connected and come out the top and then diffuse throughout the evaporator panel. But that's not happening with mine, so we have to replace the line. And I'm not sure how well you can see, but this is the line and this is the piece we need to replace. So this is the beginning of the line and we need to replace it. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of room to try to undo this and pull it out. Uh, we got this right in front and it's not going to be easy. Are you seriously not thinking? Okay, what I did is I was able to sneak this box end through the broken supply line and I get it over the nut here and now it's just going to be I have such little wiggle room but it's either this or remove the whole assembly so I'm going to try just tiny turn at a time to pull this off I don't know if this is going to work well I hate to do this but I have to admit that there is not enough space to try to get this taken off like this. So I'm going to have to remove these pipes. Oh, it's going to be a pain even to take this off. Barrel, he could get that. Yikey shnikes. Okay. Now I have enough space to. This is off. We can put this guy back in there. Okay, so we got our new parts here. Before we attach the new water line, we need to snake it through the case. After we snake the water line through the case, we can now put on our ferrule and compression nut. Can now secure the nut to the solenoid water valve. I can now take the water panel evaporator assembly and put that back inside.
Now that the new water line is installed and everything looks like it's hooked up correctly, I can now go and think about re-hooking up the ducts that we took out before. Before I put it back though, I want to redo some of the areas of tape. There's an area where the metallic ducting tape is not holding up well, so I'm just going to replace it with some new tape. Now I'm ready to put it back into place. Once the duct's back in place, we can put the bolts back in and tighten them up. And once our bolts are tightened up, we can then place another layer of metallic ducting tape over top the bolts and that seam. Placing the metallic ducting tape over the top section is going to be the final step. <sighs> and now we're ready to put the filter back in place and turn the system on. That's it, we've replaced the water line to a whole house humidifier.